Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Jack of Eyes and welcome to something a little bit different. I'm doing a Minecraft Industrial Craft 2 little tutorial about how to get started in this, what you need to know, to just like the very basics. And so this will be pretty short and let's just get right into it. So in Industrial Craft 2 there are four new ores, copper, tin, silver and uranium. These are the only four new ores that are added into the game, and with these and the ones that are already in basic Minecraft, you can do everything, basically. So, what you need to start out with, you're going to need a lot of copper, tin, and iron, just in basic Minecraft. And all of these can be found around the same level. Um, copper and tin you can find more often on the surface than you can normal iron, but all of these spawn in the same area, so they should be pretty easy to find, and you should be able to get quite a lot of them pretty easily. And you just need a stone pick to mine all of them. And then you also you're going to need to find a rubber tree. This is what the rubber trees look like. They're quite easily identified by the other have like two or three leaves just pointing straight up. Um, this is the color. They also have these brown patches on the side of the wood. Um, the brown patches are a little bit hard to find, but because they very where they will be and they might not actually have any or they could be hidden underneath the leaves. I'll get into what the brown patches are in a second. The trees themselves tend to spawn in swamp biomes. They can spawn elsewhere but swamps are a good place to find them. And what you need to do once you have found one of these trees is you're going to need a tree tap which is this little thing here. This is the crafting recipe for one. It's just a bunch of planks in this pattern like this and it makes you a tree tap. Basically what you do is you go up to the brown patches wherever they are and just right click on them. You, uh, you can right click multiple times so it will be this one originally and then it comes like a little outline. You can just kind of see it there and then eventually that will... Ooh, I'm getting a lot from this one. Go away. There we go. Once it's gone you can't get any more from it. Um, they will come back. It just takes time. So you're going to want to get a bunch of these, get saplings, plant them near your base. Um, a good thing is that they don't need the leaves for the rubber to come back. So once you plant it and it grows, cut down all the leaves. I normally just leave the top ones because, I don't know, they can't hard to get to, to get saplings to plant more, and you can just keep the wood itself. Then what you're going to need to do is once you have the sticky resin, you put it into a furnace and it crafts it into rubber. Quite simple. The rubber you're going to use for a lot of crafting recipes, so that's why you need a lot of the sticky resin and you're going to want to bring these trees to you. It's a little bit of a fiddle to find them, but once you do, it's pretty simple. Let's get rid of this rain. There we go. Let's just stop any second now. Perfect. Okay. The next thing there are these five basic building parts that you are going to need lots of. And so these ones, you well, can memorize them pretty fast. If you're playing on a mod pack, chances are you're going to have NEI, which means... It, oops, I'm in cheat mode, so it just gives it to me, but... In normal games, it will tell you the recipe for them, so you don't have to memorize them, but you'll learn them pretty quickly. First thing is refined iron ingots, which basically, oh, it disappeared. Um, it's just a piece of iron, and you cook it, and it gives you refined iron, which looks like this. Then you're going to need lots of copper cables. This is where the first use of some of the modern stuff come in. You need three copper ingots, six rubber, and it gives you six copper cables. They're both used for transporting power as well as for crafting recipes. Then you have electric circuits. This is one of the more complicated things early on, uh, but it's pretty simple. Kind of hard to get hands on a lot of, and you're going to need quite a lot of these. But it's not so bad. It's just six copper cables, so one craft of the copper cables, two redstone, and a iron, refined iron ingot. Oh, I just realized I forgot to put redstone over there. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of redstone for this. Uh, apologies for not having that earlier. Um, just slipped my mind. And then you're going to need a machine block which is just refined iron ingots in a circle like this. Oh, and the reason why um, the crafting recipes aren't working for these right now is because the mod pack I'm playing on, it switched out refined iron ingots for steel ingots from a different mod, just to make things simpler. Um, so once I switch it in, it says it's going to craft. But I have all the crafting recipes that require refined iron ingots just leaving with the refined iron ingots because if you're playing default or in most mod packs, you're going to need the refined iron ingots to do it. <coughs> So I left it in, that's just why these aren't crafting. Hello. Um, 
then you're also going to need a bunch of RE batteries. Don't make these in bulk, just make them as you need them, because you, you don't need a huge amount, but you're going to need them. It's just four tin, two redstone, and a copper cable that gives you one battery. You're going to need more than one for most of the things you're crafting. Now we go on to a, just a simple, basic setup that's probably the first thing you're going to want to be making machine-wise. Oops, sorry. It is going to be a generator, a copper wire, connected to a macerator. So I'm going to start with basically what each thing does, and then we can go into the recipes. So basically, generator, you just put anything that burns. So I'm just going to put a chest in there for now. It produces power. It has a tiny bit of a battery bank here. I'll show you storing power later. It produces power. And then you can use a copper cable to transport it to any of the machines or other types of cables for later on, but copper cables where you want to start with. It can be plugged into any face of the generator and then plugged into any face of the machine. All will work perfectly well. And basically all you have to do, you put in an ore in the top slot and then it goes across the progress bar and produces two dust of whatever ore you put in. So I put in a piece of iron ore and it gives me two iron dust. My iron dust, you just stick in a furnace and it cooks each of them into an ingot. So a macerator doubles your output of your ores, which is very handy. Now for the recipes. So the recipes have a little bit of variation. Here's the copper cable, which you saw before. The macerator only has one recipe. It is a electric circuit, machine block, two cobblestone, and three flint on the top. Makes your macerator. And then the generator is a little bit more complicated. So you can either use an iron furnace, three refined iron ingots, and a RE battery. That makes it. Um, for an iron furnace, you can either do iron like this with a furnace, or just iron all the way around the outsides with no furnace. I recommend this one because making a furnace is simple and just use a cobblestone and it saves you um, three iron ingots every time you make one. So this, if you're going to make iron furnaces, I recommend doing it this way. And or there's the way of doing it like this, which is a machine block, a RE battery, and a furnace. Uh, when it comes down to it, um, it depends if you want to really smelt the iron. You can do the calculations yourself on how much it takes. Um, doing it this way is a little bit more costly on iron, but it saves you on the refined iron. So it saves you from having to cook it, so it's faster doing it that way. Um, oops, let's set it to daytime. It's getting a little dark. Oops, not add. Set. Day. Perfect. Okay. And now for the last thing that we're going to be covering in this video is just other basic machines that you're going to be wanting to use. First one being a bat box which is just three RE batteries, some wood like that, and a copper cable. What a bat box, do, bat box does is it stores power. It stores up to 40,000 um, EU or, yeah, EU for this. And it'll output 32 EUs every tick, which basically is just the programming part. It outputs enough power for pretty much all your machines um, in Industrial Craft 2. Um, the in power for this is any of the sides except one of the sides. So there's only one output side. So here it connects. If I put it over there, it connects. Oops, worked around. So it will connect anywhere. This side with the little circle, that is the outside. So you connect that, and then this is the out cable. It's oops, simple as that. Just fill it in the ground. Then a very useful machine is the extractor. Um, it's made like this, four tree taps, machine block, and an electric circuit. And from the tree taps and the name, you can probably start guessing what it does. Simply what all you do is you put a sticky resin in the top, fills up the progress bar, and it gives you three rubbers instead of the one rubber you normally get. It triples your rubber output, which is so nice because otherwise you're going to have to have a massive like forest of these trees to be able to efficiently produce all the machines and rubber you need. So if once you can get an extractor, that is a great fix for that problem. I would not recommend an extractor first. I definitely recommend getting a generator and a macerator hooked up first. So you can double your ore output so you can make these machines a lot better and make tools for them. Um, then getting a bat box to hook up to store some power just makes your life so much easier. And you don't have to be burning through coal constantly because you can store up power. And then getting the extractor. The machine I recommend getting after that is an electric furnace. Simple recipe, it's an iron furnace, two redstone, and an electric circuit. Basically what the electric furnace does is exactly what it sounds like. It uses power to smelt your ores or your dusts or whatever you need to smelt. 
Um, it does it faster. It does it quite a bit faster. I don't know exactly how faster. And I, from what I can tell, it doesn't use as much power as, uh, like as much call ratio as a normal furnace would be doing for smelting the same amount. Um, there's also, so the iron furnace for the crafting recipe, it can also be placed down and used as a normal furnace. It smelts faster and is a little bit better, but it's not as good as the electric furnace, but it's a good stepping stone if you want to get faster smelting before getting an, an electric furnace. Um, and that's basically the basics. I'm going to just do a quick showing of kind of how to set up the bat box. Just do it over here, just in case you want to know. So I don't have a generator on me, do I? I was, but that was, thought that was a generator. So let's just go, oops, I cannot spell. Gen, it's ER. Okay, I can't spell. I suck at spelling right here. Boop, there we go. Okay, right, I have one now. So you just generate it down. The way I do it, cable in the back. When you place the bat box, the, whatever side you're facing is going to be the initial output side. So you put it down like that, it connects, copper cable, and then a machine. And basically all you have to do is you put in a little bit of coal or any other burnable substance. It goes in, it starts producing power. Power is now being stored into the bat box and a little bit stored into here. And then like the extractor does, you just put it in and it will slowly go along and make the stuff. That can be done with any of the things, a macerator or anything like that. And you can simply wire things up like this. That's now being powered and I can even attach this onto the end. So, oh, hello. All these machines are now powered just from simply doing this and you could quite easily just hide this in a wall or something so you only see your machines or you can hide the cables, you can put them underground. So many different ways you can get around having to see them. So you can make your bases look quite nice. And see, we got three rubber and we're about to get another three. Alright, that's all going to be for this video. There will be more going out to start covering some of the other stuff, like what these sides things do here and other stuff like that. If you have enjoyed this video, like and comment down below. If you're a new channel and like to see more of the stuff, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay icy. Bye! Right, uh, surprise, this is me coming to you after I literally just finished the recording for this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I had remembered something super important that I forgot to mention. Um, that is the wrench. So, the this is the recipe for the wrench. It's bronzing it in a Y shape or like a field goal for football. Um, and the wrench is what you need to use to pick up these different machines guaranteed. If you pickaxe them, the issue is you can sometimes just get the machine block back. Sometimes you get the machine, sometimes you get the machine block. The bat box itself you will always get back and I think it's a it's an axe is the best way of getting this. So with the wrench you just right click on it and it'll um, either change this orientation or pick it up depending on if you are at the front of it or if you are facing the side. Uh, if you shift right click it will also do the same thing apparently. Um, but yes, you can also use this on the face so you can change the input and the output of the bat box. And to make bronze, it's very simple. You just need three copper dust and a tin dust. It will give you, this is bronze blend. This is from Thermal Foundations. This is from the other mod. Um, that's overriding the industrial craft two on this mod pack, but it's the exact same crafting recipe. See, this is all the industrial craft industrial craft version and it'll give you bronze and you just simply smelt the bronze into bronze ingots and then you can use that to make the wrench. Alright, if I missed anything else that is super important you'll be hearing from me again in about two seconds but I don't think so so see you then. Bye!